um, in a minute I'll, I'll share my screen and, uh, and, and show you a couple of uh, slides of, um, of how this all came to be and how we can deploy it. It's, um, it all started in a primary school classroom and it's, uh, it's an interactive map. Uh, it's an app for your mobile phone. To, uh, to map heritage by um, uh, many different organizations together on the same map. Um, hang on. Um, um, Vladka, can you give me permission to share my screen, please? It says the host has disabled uh, screen sharing. Sorry, I didn't catch up my coffee yet <laughs> it should work now thank you it does um okay right mm, good you should all be yeah you're seeing my screen so um hidden heritage putting it on the map this here is um is kind of a birth picture of the of the platform. This is a very well-known little street in Groningen, in Holland, where I live. And I must have passed this piece of art tens of thousands of times. Um, it, it, took a, it took a city tour with a guide to point it out to us. And I have been a primary school teacher for 17 years. And I was here in this, this little alley in Groningen um, with the city tour guide and my class. And he pointed out all kinds of, of hidden heritage. This here looks like it's a moldy old door, but it's a piece of art. It's a copper doorway, and it depicts them, um, a, a, a sad piece of history from this building. But as we went along this, this little alley, every 10 meters or so, the, the tour guide stopped us and pointed out local stories that, that are just below the surface. And, um, and I, I, um, I got it that, that there is a lot of information on the internet, but it's not connected to the real world. So uh, as a teacher, I came across the idea to, to, to map local heritage. And on the right side of the screen here, we have a, a screenshot of the app with locations in Groningen. Um, that have uh, that we have put on on the map. So SpaceTime is a joint platform of cultural organizations, nature parks, and tourism organizations, with which information can be placed on an interactive map. It's kind of having your own app, but having your own app is quite expensive, and it has a very limited time uh, uh, lifespan. And the idea of of, of SpaceTime is um, it's, it's more than an app. It's more like a platform, and it uh, consists of a web page. Uh, where I can can give you an account to, and as you log on to the web page, you 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 manage your own content in the app. So it's it has a it has a map, and with this button here, you place information messages like a, a virtual um, um, message boards on the map. And here we have the app for the consumer, and I I I um. In the beginning, I had a little trouble explaining this format, but I think the, the, the comparison with YouTube works. What the, 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 the channels of YouTube are for, for videos um, is what the layers of space time are for information on the map or on location. So an unlimited number of organizations can manage their own content using the web portal, but on a shared map together. Um, they can generate a QR code with a little button here. And the QR code can uh, will bring the the, con the the user straight to your layer on the map. So um, as all or different organizations host their own layer of information of information on the map, this can be a route, a game, or just a layer of content of points of interest. Um, but there's a there's a there's a very big plus on on not having your own separate local app, but using this generic platform together, as an organization as as an organization it's it's very handy because um, you have a, a shared user base and a combined reach. But for the compute for the uh, for the user, uh, it can it can use uh, information from uh, various different organizations together on one on one app because in Holland we have a, a quite a number of different local apps 
basically all doing the same, um, providing information on local heritage and sending out tours. So um, this here is the, is the current design. We are working hard uh, for a, a very big update, but it has time and place as a central point of reference. So these are all map layers. Um, for instance, this is from the Water Authority. And if we show this on the map, this is it's, it's now loading these different cultural uh, sites. This is a screenshot of this moment. It could also be a tour um, with, with audio tour or information. This is an open message. This is page two. So every message on this map can consist of multiple pages with videos, photos, um, audio sounds, and even augmented reality, so virtual um, 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 personas projected in the landscape. We'll get to that in a bit. So the idea is that rather than having your own separate app, you just we, we, we host a layer on the map for your organization. So we can use this map together and use the same uh, user base. Well, so we bring historical, cultural uh, information about nature together on one platform. Um, in host, in, uh, we host layers of information. Various uh, organizations can, can, can host their information together on the same map. So routes, locations, and even events. In Holland, we have a, a, a lot of festival and events that all have their, their, their separate web page. But it can be a bit of a hustle to find out where, um, where a band is playing, where you can park your car, and where you can buy the tokens and such. So um, some Dutch holidays have a lot of different um, festivities, all being um, 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 presented on different web pages. But if you map it on the, on the map, you have uh, at stage level the timetables and what have you. So um, routes, location, events, all in one overview on the map. Um, and this way we connect the virtual world of information to the location it, um, it concerns. And a QNR code uh, or a deep link from a web, web page takes the user directly to your, uh, uh, to your layer on the map, map to, to, to your content. It's kind of having your own app. So from a website, you can have a deep link that opens in space time like a, like an, um, like a navigator or a viewer. Or you can have a, um, a folder, a brochure of your organization that the QNR code will take the, the, the user directly to that map layer. So um, with your account, you can host layers of rich content, um, post, um, points of interest consisting of multiple pages of, of, of media and information. You can, act, you can connect these, these uh, points of interest uh, to, a, to a route. This can be a, 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 tr a traditional route. Um, 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 with, 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 with a story or an uh, adventure. Uh, but we, we added gamification to this, not showing the whole route at once, but uh, it's kind of a mystery tour where, you can, where, you, where, you, where one location shows on the map, but a route to that point. You can, can only open this message at the actual site within 50 or 100 yards. And uh, it consists of uh, pages of information, maybe a video, um, background stories, and it has interaction, um, a question, an open question, a multiple choice question, or a photo assignment. And once the, the user has, has answered this question, the next point of interest on the map uh, appears and a route to that location. So um, we, we are currently in the process of, of of testing the the Burkle game, which is um, the Burkle is a is a river that flows from Germany to Holland, and uh, this region um, cross borders. Um, this 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 um, this river is used as a as like a con connector, like a like a, a lint that um, that tells the story of this region, and. Um, as different organizations can use this, this map together, you have uh, um, a layer of information of what's growing uh, agricultural-wise on the, on the land. What crops do we see? Uh, what monumental uh, farms uh, are there? Um, maybe castles and, uh, well, 
heritage information from various information from local um, um, heritage societies and the city archive, the, the, the province, the, the municipal. Um, but these routes, these uh, tours through this uh, um, nature park are um, uh, when visitors walk or cycle these, 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 these routes, they encounter different virtual objects. And these virtual objects they can collect and interchange with virtual characters that tell the story of this region. And these characters are animated. So we, we scanned the, the um, uh, local, um, how do you say the toneel group? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm missing more. We, we scanned local uh, people in, 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 in old clothing. How do you call old clo clothing? Um, well, traditional, traditional clothing. And we, we, we digitized them in 3D and then we animated them. And I'll show you in a bit how we did that with, with special uh, suits with, with uh, sensors. And so we can, we can have the, the, the virtual personas react to the users that, uh, and, and tell the story. And they can, um, can, can um, well, can, um, uh, well, they can earn points and credits and spend those at local affiliated entrepreneur, entrepreneurs. So if you, if you uh, do a physical assignment in a museum, uh, a QR code uh, can can be scanned, and and you get credits in the game, and other way around, points uh, uh, earned in the game can be spent at local um, enterprises. Um, of, or if you if you uh, have a life elixir um, uh, in the game, you can have that uh, as a souvenir, like a physical souvenir. So. This here is a little a small uh, promo video from more than a year ago. We are a bit of we are, um, um, upgraded this. The, what we see here is Playmobil, pup, Playmobil puppets. We animated, but um, uh, like I said, we now can, can 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 scan and digitize full people in high resolution. And these children are following virtual footsteps, and they have to capture the flag in this 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 uh, instance here. And you have to answer questions about the local heritage, and um, well, and these credits can be can be um, spent at local um, cafes and bars and, and, and bakeries and such. So um, this is augmented reality, and this is a, is an example of our co-creation format. It all started uh, as as a platform to map local heritage. Then the the recreational organization in Holland said, "Well, we we'd like to have more features that um, help us uh, navigate." And then uh, the city archive said, "Well, this is all nice, this navigation, but we like to have it interactive." And then in uh, another region, they said, "We need we want an interactive game with augmented reality." And so they. Um, they spent their money rather than having their own app built to 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 uh, add features to space time from co-creation this is uh, our programmer in a in a special suit <clears throat> um, every move he makes is being registered as you see and this is a, a local girl in, in in traditional clothing we scanned and she's doing the the, the movements um, our Wouter <laughs> just did in his uh, in his suits. So, um, as like I said, we, we started in education, and I used to be a teacher. Um, it all started as a time capsule, and the idea was to send messages to the future. Well, um, as the birth photo uh, at the beginning of this story uh, depicts, I. I, I, I came across the idea to map local heritage with students. Now, this is a, a, a short promo video from the Dutch um, uh, Monument Federation. Hey, that, that you're on the way to school, think, this is an ontzettend oud gebouw, there's vast a verhaal achter. Daar gaan we met the open monument to class, waar is in Duitsland. Kom ik bijvoorbeeld dagelijks langs deze toren. En daar zou ik wel eens op in willen weten. Onze lieve vrouw ter één. Ja, hallo. Bent u mevrouw ter één? Uh, nee, dat zou wel grappig zijn, maar ik werk hier wel. Wil je uh, iets weten? 
Ja, ik kom daar zo tegen door. En ik vroeg me af wat, uh, wat dit gebouw vroeger voor, uh, voor functie heeft gehad. Uh, ja, kan ik je wel iets over vertellen. Uh, misschien heb je al uh, het sculptuur boven de deur gezien. Ja. Daar zie je ook de, de toren. Dat is de Onze Lieve Vrouwentoren in uh, Amersfoort. En dat was van een uh, nonnengemeenschap. En die liet hier in 1931 uh, het klooster bouwen. Ik zou misschien even binnen kunnen kijken. Ja, tuurlijk. Kom verder. Wat leuk. Mag ik mijn foto's maken? Ja, tuurlijk. Neem zoveel tijd als je wil. Dan uh, ga ik weer aan het werk. En wat ik net allemaal heb geleerd over dit klooster, zet ik op de kaart van Spitsen. Ik ben bang dat je de slag bang komt. Ik hoop dat daarmee. Nou, hartelijk bedankt. Ja, succes, hoi. Nu weet je iets meer over dit klooster. Wil jij jouw kennis die je hebt opgedaan over een monument bij jou in de buurt ook delen? Download de Spacetime app en zet het op de kaart. Zo is het elke dag over monumenten klassendag. So it was the Dutch Monument Federation. And next year all Dutch schools will be invited to um, to visit a local monument or heritage sites and put it on the map. So students of all ages research local traces of heritage and put it on the map. Uh, it, it uses the local environment as a treasure chest for, for cultural education. So by looking for the story behind monuments or street names or artworks or remains from other times, students discover the, that the past lives on in everything around them. It, this way we connect past, present and future. Because it's, 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 it's fun to, 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 to gain knowledge, but it's even more fun if you can spread the knowledge again. This is, of course, why I became a teacher. So instead of uh, making a, a wallpaper or a folder that's handed in to the teacher, the students present information uh, in, an, in, in a multimedia message uh, on this interactive map. So what we see here is students researching a local heritage sites. Um, they discuss how to best present it's time. it. Sorry. It's time? I to remind you on time, sorry, it's very yeah, I know. Um, I have uh, uh, four or five minutes left. So any school subject is uh, is is uh, is is viable, and um, just start by wondering, and then um, um, so so the basis of this this platform is points of interest on the map, and these points of interest consist consist of pages with all conceiv conceivable media, videos, sounds. You can even enter a website into the um, message page, and a QR code brings the users straight to your content. You can set out routes. Um, you can even combine map layers, which is the, I think is the, the big power of this platform for, uh, from the per, uh, perspective of the user uh, using different sources at the same time. And you can make these routes interactive. Now we, we, we originate from co-creation. So rather than having your own app built, which is very expensive, has a limited lifespan because of the fast pace of technical advancement. Uh, and, and you can only reach the number of people that have downloaded your app. So the, the idea of space time is that we offer cheap hosting, um, and for the, the 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 viewers of this 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 uh, webinar, uh, please uh, um, pre present your your plans and maybe I can offer you one for free. Um, but cheap hosting is from twenty euros a month, and it's future future proof because together we we keep innovating and. Um, um, and use a shared user base. So only invest in features if you need, if you if you're missing any. Um, but it's a, it's quite a um, um, it, we have uh, quite some features uh, at this at this uh, at this moment. So yeah, let's map our history together. That was my uh, uh, contribution. And um, if uh, time allows, um, maybe there's a question, or we can wrap this up. And I'm sorry that I really have to keep you all uh, mm -hmm. according to time, but I will say again, uh, all this material for all four sessions in this, uh, for all four lectures, it's published in Archivi. You have a huge pub uh, Patrick presentation uh, that we had last year, one and a half hour in our uh, YouTube page of Icarus Croatia. We will uh, have uh, in uh, up in next two months, we will have also some space time layers workshops like we have before, since we already launched 
some uh, stories in space layer in uh, during our project mm -hmm. in in what and we will do it again so please uh, i think that we will all have time to to connect more okay this is also uh, the next presenter is miss